Hey, fellas, I went and I did a little thing here. Um, so I haven't put a video up in a while. I actually bought a new truck. Uh, I'm sure you can see on the side it says Pro 4 SC10 uh, by Team Associated. Um, I had some money and was kind of kind of looking at different trucks and I was wanting a four-wheel drive uh, short purse truck, a good one. Not a, not a, like a slash or anything like that. I wanted it, you know, like a Team Associated or a low seer, you know, something race quality. Uh, I know some people argue, oh, well, you know, slash, slash could be race quality. Eh, not in my book, because really slash more, in my mind, basher rigs. Um, but anyway, so I bought this, it came today. Um, uh, First off, look at this thing. Such a beautiful truck. Uh, the body looks really nice. Well, it does for now. Uh, I left the number plates off, or I put the number plates on, but left the stickers off because I didn't like the ones that were on there. Um, and, uh, oh. Okay, so here's the layout of the truck. Um, I'm sure you see the wires. The wires right here, this truck has LED. LEDs front and rear, which is kind of a nice little, little uh, deal there. Um, and then it comes with a uh, Reedy uh, brushless setup in it. Uh, it's brushless right out of the box. It's got a sealed, uh, sealed receiver box, which is kind of nice. Um, and then we got uh, servos. Some people have said these servos aren't that great, but we'll see. Uh, it's got adjustable uh, shocks. Shocks are actually adjustable on this, which is kind of nice. Oh, another thing that's kind of nice. Um, and, uh, and the bumpers look pretty decent. You know? Uh, chassis looks nice. Thick plastic. Sidebars are nice and flexible, which is what you want. Uh, along with the body mounts, kind of have a little bit of flex there. You can adjust Looks like you can adjust the level of... Yeah, there's holes there. You can adjust the level of the body post depending on what body you're using. Um, and then it's got Velcro here and foam to hold your battery in. Okay, and then it's got these tires. Uh, some people are not big fans of these tires. Uh, they are uh, general grabber uh, tires is what they're calling them. A copy of some general grabbers. All right, so... Let's turn the truck upside down. Okay, and one thing. Truck comes with mud flaps right out of the box. Uh, you don't have to uh, you don't have to do any kind of upgrades or you know put a different bumper on it to be able to, you know like you would slash. Uh, another thing that really impressed me is the beefiness of the A-arms on this thing. Uh, they're definitely real nice beefy looking parts, uh, which is kind of nice. Uh, considering uh, chassis looks looks really good uh, got the steering out out there a little bit exposed but uh, um, I'm sure that's probably not something that's too hard to get to uh, no more overall the truck uh, like I said this truck this is an awesome truck um, I, I was looking like I said I was looking at trucks I had a certain price range in mind uh, as of the time of this video, uh, I paid, uh, three, 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 roughly 320 bucks. Uh, I think it was, uh, 319.99 or something like that that I paid for it. Uh, which puts it, uh, actually kind of right around the price of a, uh, of a 4x4 four four slash. I think a 4x4 four four slash... Uh, might be more expensive. Uh, I don't remember off the top of my head because I don't really look at them that often, you know. Um, but now this truck has a lot of features on it that are, I think are good at the price point. Um, you know, there are some manufacturers that don't that don't really have, you know, a lot of nice parts on the truck. Um, one thing I will say though. Um, yeah, there's not really any aftermarket support for this thing. But really, I don't think you need to really change anything. Uh, from uh, from what I've read, 
some people say you want to change out the brushless system and the tires. Uh, other than that, other than that, I haven't really heard a whole lot, a whole lot of complaints uh, from people about about this particular vehicle. Now, I will kind of tend to admit that if I'm a fanboy of any brand, it would be Team Associated, uh, being that um, they were what got me started uh, back in 1989 in the hobby. Um, I've owned a few. I've had, you know, I had the original Gold Pan RC10. I had uh, an RC10 T2. I had a couple of T3s, uh, which I got rid of one recently. Um, but, uh, now I haven't, I've probably had more tracks of stuff than anything else uh, at this point. Uh, but, uh, like I've said, I mean, if you're bashing, tracks of stuff is fine in my book, but, but this, this is a, really, this is a truck that you could, you know, do so, go do some, uh, club racing with, um, uh, you know, or even if you might be able to change out, change out the combo for something and different tires and be able to run it in some of the 4x4 classes. Uh, if you have short course racing where you live at. I do not. Um, but it would be kind of nice to take this thing uh, to the track and, you know, blow a couple of laps. It would be kind of nice. But, uh, but, yeah, I would highly, if you're looking at this truck, I would highly recommend buying it. Uh, it's such a nice truck. I really liked it. Uh, until next time, uh, if you like me, uh, if you like my videos, hit that smash that subscribe button, and uh, see you in the next video.